Hey guys, welcome back to your elective classes. I know it's been a little while and things have gotten kind of crazy with this whole um, coronavirus and distance learning stuff. Uh, I just want to say on behalf of all the teachers that teach this course, this engineering course in, in the district, we, uh, we're we aware that you, you might be sharing devices with siblings and have limited time to get a bunch of assignments done and this is new for everybody. So with that being said, we, you know, we're, we're not going to be doing um, the engineering pieces like we're not going to be um, making it too hard on you. It should be pretty easily easy and, and painless um, to get into spec. Now, if you want to go further and make your like, for example, we're doing gliders. Um, you know, it's pretty basic just to get into spec, but if you want to take it further, I'm going to show you a couple tips on how to do that. Um, but by all means, if you only have a limited time because you're sharing a device, then um, just get your thing into spec. It's quick and easy and then turn it in and you're done. Um, so, all right, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with gliders. So we're going to go to white box learning. And we're gonna do gliders. You're gonna use your student ID. I know it's been a while. Uh, so you do your stu student ID and then you have a group code, a unique group code. Mine for my classes are, is 6V1X. Uh, if you had forgotten yours, probably check a syllabus that you may, ha may have laying around or uh, email your teacher. Okay, so let's go to engineering. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is always check to see if we're in spec. So we're gonna go to outputs. Okay, we're gonna go to outputs, go to design specifications, and there is only one thing out of spec, and that is a quick and easy thing to fix. So like I said, if you've got limited time, you're just trying to get this done and, and share your device with um, you know a sibling, then it's I'll show you real quick and easy how to do it. We're gonna go to engineering. We're gonna to go to wing and all you gotta do really is bring this in. And and technically at this point you're in spec, but your your glider is gonna be trash and um, it's not gonna fly at all, really. It's gonna it's gonna go up in the air and drop right away. Uh so let's just double check. Okay, so see now we're in spec, and like I said, you can turn this in, you can get your grade, and we can move on to the next module. Okay, but for those of you that want to push further and want to compete with each other, I'm going to show you um, how to build a decent glider. Okay, so um, starting from the fuselage, actually let's just pull up the whole thing so we can see what it looks like. So starting with the fuselage, um, this height looks good, uh, the length looks good. One thing I would do is taper the nose and taper the body. Okay, uh, I don't think we really need this finger grip thing. And the ballast, basically what that is, is a piece of clay that you would either add to the front or back uh, to help balance it out. And I've already got, uh, like I'm looking at my notes right here um, next to me, and so I've already got um, a good idea of one that's gonna fly decently. So uh, we're going to change this front ballast piece to 0.55 grams and the rear ballast point to 0.21 grams. And I'm just going to change mine to uh, black, wherever that one is. There it is. Hit a, you always have to hit apply. So you hit apply and there's that part. You're done with the fuselage. Go to wing. Your X offset up here um, should be... 120 well, again you can do whatever you want but this is just a you know one that i know is going to fly decently far uh hit apply you can see that the wing has moved more towards the center which is going to help our center of gravity oh i guess while we're doing this i'll pull up the optimization piece uh if you recall you want all of these to slide over to the right um definitely don't want any of them in the red okay so um, as we make adjustments, you're going to see things slide over to the right. Okay. Um, shape, we're going to turn it into this um, curved shape. 
that's going to help with our drag a ton you can see all right i know that i need to bring these in because i will be out of spec if i don't so i'm at least going to get them to maybe there um if i want to increase my lift i want to increase my wing size so i'm gonna or this so this is your root cord i'm gonna make this thicker okay you should see your lift go up i know weight is going down but we're gonna fix that and the one way to fix that is by clicking on um, sanding level so when you sand your glider you want to make sure you sand it real heavy hit apply that should fix the weight and um, type of dihedral again you can choose whatever you want I'm just making kind of one that I know is gonna fly well so polyhedral and I put mine at two degrees right here and I want to change that to black Hit apply. Okay. Um, my tip dihedral, I think I set it to 32.9. That should help with roll. Okay, so there's our roll going up. And I'm going to hit done on that one because we've now finished the fuselage and the wing, and we're going to move to horizontal stabilizer. This is going to fit, fix our pitch and our yaw, okay? Well, both the vertical and horizontal. So this one, you're going to want to make it a rectangle shape. And I think I have mine set at, um, this is about 25 degree, or 25, um, I'm assuming those are millimeters, 25 millimeters um, down. And I have mine at 46 as the width. All right, that's looking good. I'm going to change this. Um, I, I have mine kept at light because one of the requirements is to stay um, like at five grams. So um, for whatever reason, I just kept mine light. I'm, I maybe be able to... Um, change that I'm not really sure but in my notes I have this as light so I'm just gonna keep it like that color it's gonna go to black and um, push done and vertical stabilizer I think I forgot to check what I did there but I'm just gonna keep it at light um, I'm gonna hit black All right, so this shape, you're gonna to wanna to maintain a similar shape here. Um, come up here and bring it up. So you can see these numbers that are over on this side. So pay attention to this side. Um, I'm gonna bring it up to about 50. Okay, the width, you can see the numbers at top, um, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, um, up here at the top. You're, I have mine set at 15, so that looks good right there. I'm going to bring up this dot to 23. So you can see on the um, over here on the left-hand side, you'll see the number. Oh, you can see it over here too on the, on the right. But basically, you're going to bring this up until you see 23. And the bottom, the very bottom numbers, you can see them changing. You're going to want that 25. Okay, so uh, by no means is this a perfect one, but this is one that I threw together that I knew was gonna fly well, and then you can kind of take it from here. Like I would definitely go ahead and file, um, save, you know, give it a name, um, test flight, um, save and enter competition, and then you'll be able to compete with people throughout the district, and then you can make small adjustments. You can change your sanding level. You can make your you know, if we go back to wing, um, you can change up your dihedral angles and things like that to help with roll. So um, this is an awesome starting point for those of you that want to push further and kind of um, take it to competition and see if you can beat other people in the district or other people at your school. Uh, if you don't remember how to do that, like I said, go to file, save, save and enter competition. To get to the competition, you go over here. Um, you just find find your thing this is my it's actually the same exact one it should be 
and then just test it out. So um, hopefully that helps. And just to reiterate, um, you know, we are in a weird time right now with this whole distance learning and the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, again, our, the teachers, you know, we've all been working together to put all this stuff together for you and to make it as easy as possible uh, because we know that you have all of your core classes, you probably have a brother or sister who also needs to use the computer uh, to get things done. So I hope this was helpful and we've got a few more to do for the remainder of the course. So um, I will see you on the next one, which I think is Mousetrap Craft.